we need to talk about Rise of the Resistance. Hello guys and welcome back to the Florida Men YouTube channel. We're here at Hollywood Studios. Stop. Hello guys and welcome back to the Florida Men YouTube channel. I'm Trevor. And I'm Jaden. We're here at Hollywood Studios. I'm gonna take a look around and see what's new. And then we're gonna hop over to Epcot because the new reservation system started January 1st. So, when you first get into Hollywood Studios, everyone is gonna run straight to Mickey's Runaway Railway, Galaxy's Edge, and Toy Story Land to get on like Smuggler's Run and like Slinky Dog Dash and obviously Mickey's Runaway Railway. But here's the big problem. There are zero fast passes. Right here I have my Disney Park set pulled open. All the wait times are 75 minutes, 80 minutes, 110 minutes for Smuggler's Run. You guys have to get here early and just pray that you can get on a ride. Because if not, you'll be stuck here all day. Which is great that they put in the park hopper option. Because let's say it's packed here, we can jump over to Epcot where it's a little bit more dead and there's more things to do. Which is hopefully what we're going to do today. Yeah. So you guys will see walking around the parks that there are other people making videos like how we are. And I mean, honestly, like we have like 20 subscribers now. So I feel like we just, you know, outpace them so much. So. I mean, I feel like a celebrity walking through here. I don't know, but it feels like I'm in Hollywood right with now. With our $600 camera that we just got with Donald Trump's money. Yeah, Shout thank out you. to my boy Donald Trump. Thank you, Trump. So it turns out the rumors are true. Rock and Roller Coaster is down. So that leaves, what, like five rides for the entire park? I don't even know. They basically like set up a barricade over there telling people not to come in. Um, but you can walk through here because they do have like the Lightning McQueen show over there, which I mean, I don't even know why you would walk over there. So every single ride in this entire park is either a hundred minute wait or you just sit and you eat and you do nothing. So prepare to wait in lines with zero fast passes. It's absolutely ridiculous. However, we do have Mickey's Runaway Railway for you guys, which we're going on in about an hour. Um, we basically just slipped someone a 20 at the front and they were able to let us on. And also we're the Florida men, so I Thanks, mean- Claire. That goes without saying, yeah, Claire, shout out to Claire for letting us get in on this 20 bucks. Uh, I did want to point one more thing out about Rock and Roller Coaster for you guys. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but it did say sponsored by Haynes on that guitar pick there, and that is now gone. So yeah, that's new. All right, really quick, they got these really creepy statues, and honestly, me and Trevor are about to leave. Like, I, I don't even know what this is supposed to be here, but wow, this is creepy. We really want to stress the idea that if you come one week out of the year, we don't recommend coming here during this time. You have to wear a mask, and a lot of stuff is closed that wouldn't be closed without the coronavirus which sucks and if people want to come it sucks but honestly if it were me i would save my money so they opened up the areas for the incredibles just for the line for toy story mania so it wraps all through here and then goes around to inside toy story land if you're planning to come here just get ready to wait in line now as we're walking into galaxy's edge me and trevor have realized that for some reason if someone's on the phone in the park or even in public honestly they always take their mask off like it's not like you can't hear someone on the phone while they have a mask. It doesn't make any sense to me, but we always see that. Now, Galaxy's Edge is actually super crowded. Um, I feel like it's much more crowded than the rest of the park. This area, however, isn't as crowded. Someone probably like sneezed or something, and that's why there's not as many people here, but it gets really crowded way down that way. We need to talk about Rise of the Resistance. We got up at 6.50 today. He got, he up, got up at 6.50. I got up at 6 like a good boy. And we tried to get our reservation for Rise of the Resistance. We weren't able to get it. We're going to show you the footage of that. We were very unhappy this morning. It's full. Are you kidding? <sighs> Something went wrong. Full. <sighs> Just that fast. Within seconds. Not even seconds. That's... We counted down from exactly till seven o'clock and it all went. That's annoying. <sighs> so like, how are you supposed to get on this ride now? So previously with Rise of the Resistance, you would come to the park early in the morning and at nine o'clock the reservation system would activate. So all the people in the beginning would sit in front of Mickey's Runaway Railway and try to get it on their phones. There were some areas throughout the park that had better Wi-Fi and if you know those areas, you could probably get the pass. Now it seems like it's a race for who has the better Wi-Fi and we didn't at the time. 
We started at 6.59, as you saw in our footage, and refreshed it at 7, and we still didn't get it. So, with that being said, it doesn't matter to us that we go and rise to the resistance, but it matters to you. Especially if you're only coming one week out of the year, this ride is almost like a way to deem that your trip is successful. And at this point, getting on Rise of the Resistance is just pure luck or good Wi-Fi. All right, we're heading on Mickey Minnie's on the way railway right now. Yeah, hey. So if you guys don't know, at one o'clock, Hollywood Studios actually lets you try to get a boarding pass again. Now we tried and we got into boarding group 113, which is a backup boarding group. We don't know if we're gonna get on the ride. My watch says that it's 110 right now. So we're gonna see if we're gonna be able to get on it. If not, we might just leave and go to Epcot or something like that. Now, since it's not looking good to get on Rise of the Resistance here, we're gonna see how our future selves are doing at Epcot right now. Hi. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's chill. All right, that looks fun. Uh, let's start heading over to the Skyliner. So this was a complete success. We're at Epcot and Frozen. It has a 25 minute wait. Uh, we'll post the wait time so you can see them. Not too big of a wait for any other rides as well. So for example, Finding Nemo is a 10 minute wait. So that does it here at Epcot. We had some fun at Hollywood Studios. It was a little too busy for us. So we hopped over to Epcot, had a little bit more fun. I highly recommend using the park hopping option now, especially if you're stuck at Hollywood Studios and it's absolutely packed. So I'll see you guys next time. Please uh, subscribe to the Farman YouTube channel. They're new, but trust me, they're the investment.